Namo dasa bhagavato arahato samma sambandhasa Namo dasa bhagavato arahato samma sambandhasa Namo dasa bhagavato arahato samma sambandhasa So welcome everybody to the, our Pali class. Today we're covering the second chapter of an easy introduction to Pali. Now we've come to the instrumental case and the dative cases. So, and we're still dealing with the masculine nouns, masculine nouns that are ending in A. Remember, this is the most important of the declensions. So we're not gonna cover all the details that, that the book goes through, but we'll give just the gist of it. And then we'll go through the questions at the end of the chapter again. Uh, so that you can get an idea of all how it all comes together. So the instrumental case is used to indicate the means by which something is accomplished, the means by which something is accomplished. And so then in the singular, we get ain, and then in the plural, we get ehi or ebhi. So for example, for the word nara, which means man, we have narena by the man or norehi by the men. Um, so for the word me, so for by me, we have two forms, maya and me. So maya would come at the start of a sentence. Uh, it can also come in the middle of a sentence, but me is what they call an enclitic. It means that it occurs solely in the middle of a sentence. For example, in the phrase, evang me sutang. The dative case indicates the purpose for which something is done or for whom something is given, as well as with certain verbs. However, the aya form always indicates purpose. So there are two forms of this Dative case. So first, first of all, it mentions that it's used in cert, cert, with certain verbs. Uh, so certain verbs that may usually, you would guess they would take some other case. Uh, they might take the dative case. You just have to learn that when you learn those verbs. And so we have the two forms in the singular, asa and aya. And so, for example, for the if we have something that's for the man, we would say naraya or narasa. And in the plural, for the men, naranam. Now, it mentions that the aya form specifically means for the purpose. Uh, so the common phrase is pindaya pavisi, gamang pindaya pavisi. So gamang, the village. Remember, we use the accusative for the goal of motion. Uh, this, this one, it'll take some time to get used to. Pindaya, so for alms, for alms. Pavisi means he entered. That's the past tense. We haven't learned it yet. So our vocabulary today are for the nouns. Adra. Adra means esteem or care. Osada. Osada means medicine. Yaga. Yaga means tiger. Ahara. Ahara means food. Manusa. Manusa means human being. Dunda. Dunda means stick. Hatha. Hatha means hand. Miga. Miga means deer. Samana. Samana means ascetic. Dasa. Dasa means slave or servant. Siha. Siha means lion. Sunaka or sona. Sunaka and sona mean dog. Matanga. Matanga means elephant. Gilana. Gilana is a sick person. Vedja. 
Vedja means doctor. Kachapa. Kachapa means tortoise. Okay, so now we go on to the verbs. And so for the verbs, we learned for uh, the third person. So he goes would be gachati, he or she goes is gachati, or they go is gachanti. And so today we're going to, to learn the, the second person. Uh, so for example, for you go would be tvang. Tvang is you in this case. Tvang gachasi. So it's in uh, si, asi at the end. And in the plural, tumhe, which would be you, plural, gachata, a t h a, gachata, you go. And we'll go through the vocabulary for the nouns. De seiti. De seiti means preaches. Deiti. Deiti means gives. Harati. Harati means carries. Aharati. Aharati means carries. Niharati. Niharati means removes. Paharati. Paharati means strikes. Gachati. Gachati means goes. Agachati. Agachati means comes. Labati. Labati means gets. Peseti. Peseti means sends. Uh, so we'll go on to the exercises now. So the first exercise, the first sentence is Tvang Sakatena Gachasi. So this Tvang, we know it's a, the form is you. And we see that the verb, the verb is from Gam, it's Gach, and it has this Asi at the end. So we know they go together. So you go, and then here it says Sakatena. So by me, Ena is this instrumental, so you go by means of the cart. So you go by cart. Tvang Adrena Dambung De Sesi. So here we have uh, Tvang and at the start and De Sesi. So you preach. And then Adrena. So Adra means care. So Adrena with care. So you preach the Dhamma with care. Here's Dhammung is in the accusative. And so that goes together with with de seisi, you preach. Tuang gila nasa osadang de si. So here again, if we if we parse it, we have the tuang and and de si. So we know it's going to be you give, and now we need to find out give what and to whom. So tuang gila nasa. So we know this is this can be dative. And so we can, it's probably for the sick person or to the sick person. And osadang, so osadang is medicine. So you give medicine to the sick person. Osadang is in the accusative, accusative case, it's the object. Tvang dandena sunakang paharasi. So again, tvang, so you, paharasi, so you hit something. And then it says sunakang, so this is the object, it's what get hit gets hit because it's in the accusative with the ung form. Dandena. So it's a sentence even without this dandena. So you could say just Tvang Sunakang Baharasi. But here it says Dandena with the stick. Danda is stick. Dandena is with the stick. Tvang Dandena Sunakang Baharasi. Tvang Vejanang Sakate Pe Sesi. So this one, again, we, we parse the verb first. So tvang, a peisesi. So you send, and now we're looking for the object, something in the accusative. So here we have, sakate is accusative plural. So it's carts. Sakate is cart. Sakate is accusative plural. Carts. So you send carts, vejanam. And so we just learned that the anam form is the plural for the dative. And so Vedja is doctor, Vejanam for the doctors. So you send cards to the doctors or for the doctors. Tumhe Adrena Gilananam Aharam Data. 
So we're getting a little more complicated here, but we, we take it piece by piece. So tum he, we learned is you, plural. And so we should have uh, something t at the end the verb. So gacha t. So we know you, a group of you are going somewhere. Uh, I'm sorry, I've, um, you data give. And then the some you need something in the accusative here, so adarung. Uh, so you give food, adarena, with care, with care. So this is like an adjective. Gilananum to the sick people. So anung is dative. So for, and it's plural. So gilana is a sick person. Gilan nanung is for the sick people. So here this ad adara is normally a noun form, but here it means uh, giving with care. So it becomes more like an adjective in this case. Tum he da se So you, tum he, and now we look for something with the t form. T H A. Gacha t. So you go. And then gamong is in the accusative. And we know that's the goal of motion. So you're going to the village. And then there's there's one more one more noun here, and it's in the instrumental plural, dasehi. So dasa is a servant. So you go to the village with servants. Tumhe samananong namong desete. So again, if we start with the tumhe, we know this is you plural, and then we expect a verb with the th a form, t. So here we have desete. So you are preaching something. And then, so now we want to know what you're preaching and to whom. And so you see dhammang. So you're preaching the dhamma because dhammang is in the accusative. And so it's the one that's having something done to it in this case. And then samananang. So we learn this anang form is the dative, plural. So samana is an ascetic. And anang for the ascetics. So you preach the dhamma to the ascetics. So this would be sometimes, for example, uh, you can see in the sutta, some of the Buddha's extraordinarily lay disciples, they might preach, they might teach some Dhamma to members of other uh, religious sects, and they would they, they might be uh, different kinds of samanas or ascetics. For example, there's a famous sutta where uh, Varanatha Pindika teaches a group of ascetics. Tumhe hatehi osiding labata. Osadang labata. So you, labata, you receive. Uh, so it's you plural, and we have a t form. So you receive something, and so it's osadang. That's medicine. Osada becomes uh, becomes the object because it's in the accusative, and hatehi, with hands. So often in English we'll say with your hands, but in Pali often they won't do that. They'll just say with hands. Then they assume it's your hands, but sometimes it can be ambiguous. So tumhe hate osadang lapata. Tumhe sunakasa aharang harata. So again, we we'll look for the verb tumhe you plural. Harata, you bring something, and then it is aharam. So ahara is food, aharam is food, but it's the object of harati. So you're bringing food. Bringing food for whom? Sunakehi. Sunaka is a dog. Sunakehi. Oh, sorry. Um, Sunakasa. Sunakasa. So the dative, so for the dog, sunakasa. Tumhe sunakasa arharang harata. And the next sentence, naraka sunakehi gamang gachanti. So now it's a little more more difficult. You have to go back to the last chapter. So we learned that daraka is a child, and daraka with an 
with a long a at the end. This is the denominative plural. So this is our subject. So children, and then kachanti. So they are going. The children are going somewhere. So here at Gamang, the children are going to the village. Sunik sunikehi. So this is instrumental with the dogs. So the children are going to the village with the dogs. Suda hatehi gate dovanti. So su Suda is a cook. So Suda, nominative plural, are cook, is cooks. And then we have dovanti. So dovanti is he cooks or she cooks and dovanti is they cook. Gate, gate is our object. This is accusative plural. So, gata is pot, gate pots, and then hatehi. So hata is hand, hatehi is with hands because we have the instrumental plural. So, suda hatehi gate dovanti. It's starting to get more complicated. I, I understand. Tumhe gilane vejasa peseta. So again, we have an eta, you s and tumhe. So you send. Tumhe peseta is you send. Uh, gilane vejasa. Uh, so here we have, we have this gilane is the accusative plural. So sick people. And then we have Vijasa is for the doctor, to the doctor. So you're sending sick people to the doctor. Daso Danakasa Aharan Aharati. So we have the slave or the servant, Daso, right? Because we have nominative singular Aharati. So he brings the food. Aharang is the accusative singular. So aharang. So you bring the food to for whom? Janakasa. So Janaka is father. And then Janakasa dative singular for the father. So the, the servant brings food for the father. Or to the father. Samana Adarena Dhammang Desenti. So here now we have the Samana is preaching the Dhamma. Samana, nominative plural. De senti, sorry, de senti, because it's somebody in the plural doing it. Dhammang, they're preaching the Dhamma. Dhammang de senti. Adrena, again, they're preaching with care. They're carefully preaching the Dhamma. Tunhe dandehi sunake paharata. So, Paharata, Tumhe and Paharata, so you, plural, hit. And who are you hitting? You're hitting the dogs, Sunake. And so then this is the accusative plural. So it would be Sunakang for one dog, Sunake for a group of dogs. And then with a stick, Dandehi. Uh, so it's multiple sticks and probably it's because it's plural group of people hitting. But it could also be that each of you has two sticks in your hands. You can't tell from the sentence. Vejo sakatena gamang agachati. So vejo is a doctor. Agachati is comes. Gamang. Uh, so we have the goal of motion, accusative, singular, gamang. And sakatena. Instrumental, so by cart. The doctor goes to the village by cart. Dharaka adrena yacha kanam aharam denti. So dharaka again, children, nominative plural, because it has this a form. Denti, so they give. Aharam, accusative, food. So they give food to someone. Yacha kanam. So yachaka is a beggar, yachakanang, so this anang is the date of plural, so for the beggars or to the beggars, 
and Adrena with care, so the children give food to the beggars with care. Tvang Samanehi Buddhang Vandasi So you salute the Buddha with the ascetics. You, Tvang, so it goes with the asi form, Vandasi, so you salute or pay respects to. To whom? The Buddha, Buddhang. And then here we have this modifier, Samana is ascetic and ehi with, so samanehi, so you pay respects to the Buddha with the ascetics. Tumhe hatehi osadang niharata. So tumhe is you, plural, and niharata is to remove. And it's this at form. So you have, you know that it's plural and in the present tense. Osadang. So you remove the medicine Osada is medicine, Osadang, accusative. So it's the it's undergoing some kind of action. And then we have the modifier Hatehi. It's in the instrumental plural, with your hands. So you remove the medicine with with hands, but here again it implies it's with your hands. So um, please, please go through the chapter. Try to memorize the vocabulary and uh, go through the exercises by yourself and hopefully it's not not too overwhelming if you need to you can watch the video again and i hope that your poly studies may go smoothly and support your meditation practice and that you may swiftly attain the peace of nibbana sadhu sadhu sadhu